Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, then I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Numbers chapter 7. This chapter records each of the 12 tribes of Israel giving the same dedicatory offering. <laughs> the leader of each tribe on his prescribed day over a 12-day period brought an identical offering to the priest. This demonstrated the unity of the 12 tribes as the one people of God and their common commitment to the Levites and the functioning of their religious system. Well, we find the reading of this chapter repetitive. It's a long one. The Israelites would have rejoiced in seeing each tribe's equal participation in the religious system. Without their unity and common commitment, Israel could not survive. As Jesus said in Mark chapter 3, verse 25, if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. Interestingly, the offerings given to God were then disseminated based on a division of labor between the clans of Levites. Numbers chapter 7 verses 4 to 9 describes how the gifts of God's people were used to equip the religious workers to do their specific work in the tabernacle system. And I quote, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these things from them, that they may be used in the service of the tent of meeting. And you shall give them to the Levites, to each man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon according to their service, and four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari according to their service under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But he did not give any to the sons of Kohath because theirs was the service of the holy objects which they carried on the shoulder. Seize the moment and give generously to the work of God, knowing that the resources you give will go exactly where they're needed for God's work to be done, God's way, for God's glory. Seize the moment.